greetings to everyone today we discuss about binary search algorithm so what is what do you mean by binary search see already we have discussed about what is a linear search what is happening in a linear search in a linear search our search element or the key element is searched by each and every element in a array of integers but in the binary search what happens is your array is divided into two equal parts or two parts not equal parts two parts so that equal parts so that we check we take the middle value as the middle value with respect to the middle value we search, we compare the key value to the middle value if key and the middle value of an array array is same then we send the location of the middle value or else we conclude that the element which we are going to search may be in the left side of the array or the right side of the array so this is what we say as binary search in a binary search we are uh, interested in uh, knowing what is the low value what is the high value and what is the middle value based upon these three values we will find the search element all right so when a, when a key is compared with the middle value of an array so what happens is if the both are equal then we just return the location if key is less than the middle value we conclude that the key is left side or if the key is greater than the middle value we conclude that the key is right side so in this way we are dividing the given array into two equal parts right one two parts one is right side part and left side part with respect to the middle value let's go through an example now so example is here i took a 10 numbers 10 numbers of uh, 10 array integers uh, so 15, 27, 33, 39, 43, 48, 51, 54, 63 and 69. Just look at the example here. What we did is in the example, all the all the values which I have given are in sorted order. So whenever you want to do a binary search, binary search has to be in a sorted order, right? Without sorting, we ca you can't do the uh, binary search. You can't write the algorithm for the binary search, you know, coming to this. So what is happening now? So now we need to know what is low value and what is uh, what is the high value here so in in, the, in this way we divide the our array into two parts see the low value is 0 and the middle value is uh, middle value is 43 there fourth value fourth index and next one is uh, high value is 69 that is low value is 0 high value is 9 and uh, uh, like uh, middle value will be the average of low and high that is uh, in here we have written low middle value is equal to low plus high so now what we do is we check the middle value we check the middle value we check the middle value and the key value whether both are equal or not so 51 is equal to equal to 43 which is false so now next we go for key is less than a of mid so when key is less than a of mid you are now i'm taking key as 51 yet so 51 less than 43 which is false so which is false so equal to means they are not equal and which is not less than that means it is greater than a of mid so 51 greater than 43 which is true when i'm saying 51 is greater than 43 and which is true then what we are ignoring we are ignoring the left part so left part is this one so when we are going to ignore this left part we have a low value so we need to change this low value to the uh, to this part so this part starts from z6 so how uh, sorry 6 uh, 5 so how we need to get a 5 we get the 5 with respect to the middle value so that's why low is equal to middle plus 1 and we write low is equal to 5 so this is what in the first iteration we do in the second iteration again we take low value as 5 middle high value as 9 now the middle value will become 14 by 9 14 by 2 that is 7 so now the middle value in the second iteration is a middle value is pointing to the seventh index all right now again we check key is equal to equal to a of mid so coming to this when key is equal to equal to a of mid which is false then we go for key is less than a of mid so key is here is 51 and a of mid is value is 54 so key less than 54 so that means 51 is less than 54 which is true so 51 is less than 54 that means like 51 is less than 54 that means your value the search element is in the left side but not in the right side so when i'm saying it is not in the right side which value have to be changed altered high value has to be altered so that's why i is equal to we are writing mid minus one with respect to the middle value so now i becomes six so this is what in the second iteration coming to the third iteration in the third iteration what we do is we write low is equal five and high has changed to six so high is six and coming to the mid value it will be six plus five by two nothing but 11 by 2 and it becomes 5 so middle is 5 so again we check whether key and i of mid are equal 
equal so key equal to equal to a of mid 51 is equal to equal to 48 which is false then we go for checking key is less than a of mid 51 less than 48 which is also again false and coming to this key is greater than or equal to a of mid 51 greater than 48 which is true so whenever it is true that is greater than true that means our key value is greater than the mid value that is it is again in the right side when I am saying it is right side we are ignoring the left side in the left side it will you will have low value so that low value has to be altered so that's why low value you will write as low is equal to mid plus 1 so mid was 5 and now low becomes 5 plus 1 that is 6 now come into the fourth iteration in the fourth iteration low value is 6 high value is also 6 and middle value will be 6 plus 6 by 2 that is 12 by 2 equal to again 6 so all high low middle value are referring to the sixth index now coming uh, now we need to check whether the key value and a of mid value are equal so key equal to equal to a of mid what is key value here we are taking an example 51 51 is equal to equal to a of mid a of mid is what a of 6 in the a of 6 we have 51 here so 51 is equal to equal to 51 which is true then what we need to do is we need to find the location of the fifth uh, location of the uh, 51 so location of the 51 is in 6 6 is what middle value so we'll have to send the mid value as our found location so this is what we do so what you do is here you take an example as 54 and 75 for the same exam for the same uh, numbers and check what what do you get the location so for 75 which is not there in your uh, in your list here so you'll get element not found okay so you you do it and uh, you do it same as what i did and just comment it in comment it right yeah now go in for the program so pro uh, algorithm so algorithm looks like this so in algorithm we take low found high so found low and high are set to zero and size minus one respectively and found is equal to zero saying that if there is no element zero says that false so there is no element we say if found equal to zero then we say that there is no element so coming to the third point so in the third point we check whether low is greater than high never the low low never low will never be greater than high if it is greater than high that means element is not found so if low is greater than high then you have to go to the step seven where step seven we have written is found equal to zero then print not found go to step nine step 9 is what stops so there is no element so for example if it is not greater than it's low greater than high is false then it will go to the step 4 where step 4 you are writing mid is equal to low plus high by you are finding the average and then you are comparing with the key value and a of mid if they are equal then you are changing your found to 1 so that it is successful and you are going to step 7 that is exit to step 7 and again except exit uh, in the step 7 what you are doing you are writing found equals and print you are checking whether found is equal to 0 but already it has been changed so it is it will go to the 8th step in the 8th step we will find we will write the or we will print the key element which is present in the mid location or if the particular thing is false then it will go to the else if statement else if in this key is less than a of mid that means you are ignoring your right side value so in the right side you will have high so that's why you are altering high value as mid minus 1 or even if this is also false then it will go to the else part where else part that means if it is not less than it should be greater than when it is greater than you are ignoring left side so left side you will have low value so low value has to be altered as low is equal to mid plus 1 so this process you has to go on until you find the element or it is your low value is exceeding to the high value so this is what algorithm you write so now a program so program here it is same like your linear search only the thing is like you are writing a binary search code so a of 20 same size and same i and same and three values here three variables what we said before low high mid values have to be taken so those three things and they have to be written and you please uh, uh, you assume that whatever the elements you are giving in an array you know of integers here are all in sorted order because binary search works on sorted list only right so this is what we do so this is what algorithm looks like your program looks like right so for example user doesn't know and user is giving in a in a in a different it's not an unsorted order if if he is giving in different different values like which is not sorted then what you have to do what you have to do is after after entering the values you have to sort the elements so you have to write the code for sorting also so for sorting you will learn uh, selection sort and bubble sort in the next video i'll tell you how to sort and also how to include that particular sorting code in binary search thank you